Hello everybody! Dobsack01, Ron, Ron Victor here. And here I am with here I am finally with a shelf a collection tour, I guess. Because for some reason some of you have wanted this. And since I finally got the shelves up, this is this is probably the best chance that I'll ever get to do this. So let's just cut right to the chase. Okay. So first off, before we actually start, I have this little thing down here, which is basically filled with a bunch of humans, mini dinosaurs, dragons, Funko Pops, and then I just have a shelf of a dinosaur lamp, we've got a few extra things over there, we've got a bunch of garbage up there, well, besides a few things. And at the end of this video, I might go through that, so you can just see what dinosaurs I don't have on display. But anyways, let's just begin. <laughs> okay, and at our first shelf, we have the Kaiju Shelf. Ah, which there's been a recent new addition to. We have Knifehead, my first ever Kaiju, well, mecha figure. Then we have Gypsy Danger. Yes, I'm aware, this guy's called Gypsy Ranger, but I'm going to call him Gypsy Danger so he'll remind me of a better movie. We then have my Burning Godzilla, which used to be my favourite. I, I know, because um, pe people even recognised how much I loved it by commenting on my birthday video. I think Indominus loves this Burning Godzilla a bit too much, but since then, it's been dethroned. by. I literally just got this guy today. V to V. I forget the year, but the Tokyo SOS and the Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Godzilla now. Godzilla against Mechagodzilla is my third favorite Godzilla movie. I love that movie. I love this suit. I love this design, and I love this figure. I love how big it is. It's just. Too bad that this was NECA's last figure, especially, especially since I just got into collecting NECA at the beginning of the year. <sighs> to think that, to think that instead of getting these high quality models, uh, instead we'll begin Trash Playmates toys. Ah. Next up, we have my favorite NECA Godzilla, which is the SNES Godzilla. It is based off the game Godzilla Monster of Monsters. The first time I saw this thing, it, w it was in the Monster Island Buddies video game episode. It was the first time I ever saw it, and I remember, as soon as it appeared on screen, I went, I need that. And now here I am, I've finally got this fantastic figure in my hands. My personal favourite. And then we have King of the Monsters Atomic Blast Godzilla. Now, funny story behind these two. This I was this was originally meant to be my first ever Godzilla figure, but it was sold out. But so 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 for my first Godzilla figure, I got this guy instead. But this guy reappeared but this guy appeared on a store, but he had he yes in it had the pictures of the normal one. It was labelled as this guy, so I was unsure if it was this one. So I bought it anyway, just in case, and it was the normal one, sadly. But it's actually not that bad. My main problem is the eyes. However, however this guy is superior in every single way. And then we have what's technically my first ever Godzilla. The Chibi Godzilla from 2014. Now I did. I do have this little Neko blind bag figure, but that's downstairs, and I'll I'll probably I'll probably add it to the collection right after this. But I got this guy for Christmas along with the Muto because these two were packaged together. And of course, the Bandai Godzilla came. I mean, of course, the Atomic Blast Godzilla came with the Atomic Blast piece. So I made this little display with the normal one and. Obsidian Fury, I think his name was. I don't know. The movie was garbage, but they had fantastic figures. Figures. And then we have this random kaiju who I've forgotten the name of. 
what was this? Wasn't his name Raiju or something? I don't know. The first movie is far superior to the second one. It, the, f the first movie is, a, is in a completely different league than the second one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll delve into that in the future, but that's not what you're here for. So that is my first shelf. <laughs> and then we have my second shelf. Which is, yes, as you can tell, it's mostly Lego with a few other dinosaurs popped in there. That's mainly because this is for a series that I make called Bedroom Nine-Nine, which is basically a me, my poor attempt at comedy. And yeah, yeah, these, these are basically, these are Lego officers, they're, they're, they're basically the bedrooms, law enforcement, yada 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 da. And I apologize if, if it's a bit of a mess, because I literally just recorded a new episode yesterday, and I think it will be coming out on either Monday or Tuesday. I think it's Monday. Anyways, as for the actual collection, we have Blue, the original JP Velociraptor, Echo, the Lego Dino Triceratops, Charlie, Delta, the, the Dino Ta the the Lego Dino Velociraptor, Lego Dino Consignathus, Lego Dino Velociraptor, Lego Dino Consignathus, uh, the, the Jurassic World Dalphosaurus, the Jurassic World Gallimimus, even though this was a pre-order for the Lego game, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Dalphosaurus, then we have the Barapasaurus, Jurassic World T-Rex, <sighs> Pteranodon, Lego Dino Pteranodon, Jurassic World Pteranodon back there if you can see it, Lego Dino T-Rex, Lego Dino T-Rex, another Pteranodon, the Indominus Rex, the, the Primal Attack Tarbosaurus, and the Papo Green Velociraptor. And as for a bonus, down here, we have the Papo Collectors, which if Papo makes any in the future, I'll, 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 add, I'll add them to this part specifically. But since I've only made one at the moment, it's only the Papo Spinosaurus, because I can't say the limited edition Spinosaurus, because it's not limited edition, because it's still available. And along with that, we also have the boxes for the Mechagodzillas over here. That's all I have to say for this part. So, I guess we're moving on to the actual shelving unit. <laughs> and now we have the actual shelving unit. In which we have one, two, three, four, five. Five shelves. I can do maths. <clears throat> This is the hybrid shelf. Of course, as you can tell, this has the Mattel Indominus Rex, the Indoraptor, the Snap Squad Indoraptor, which to this day is still my only Snap Squad figure, and it's probably going to stay that way. We then have this mini Indoraptor. And over here, we have this little Indominus Rex, which was which I remember was on top of cups when I went to see it when I went to see Jurassic World at the cinemas I ended up getting this guy blue and T-Rex and then we have the see-through Indominus Rex I'm kind of disappointed that it's see-through like yeah it's cool but I would have preferred to have a actual mini Indominus Rex we then have my only kind of figure, the Comsogs Tagfus, I don't know, something like that. I've always wanted this thing growing up, never had my chance to get it, and now I have it in my collection, and it's my only kind of figure, and it's, and it's probably going to stay that way, unless I manage to make a few, few exceptions. Down here, we have my l more Lego, the Lego Ideas Skeleton Museum. I don't. I, I, I've got no clue what the set is called. 
it is probably my favorite favorite Lego set to have be released because I just love it. Most of the time we would have something else here, but I removed it because I'm keeping it a secret because it's going to appear in the second to last episode of Dinosaur King, in which yes, we ha I well last night, me Zane Sketchy and Zane's brother recorded the last four episodes of Dinosaur King. I love them, and I legitimately cannot wait for you not to see them. Now as for the actual shelf, we have the little guy who comes with most safari figures, this glow-in-the-dark dinosaur skeleton which he got from some sort of magazine, Walking with Dinosaurs Alex Zornis, more Lego stuff, and random dinosaurs which I repainted. The green Mattel Dimorphodon, the purple Dimorphodon, a very underrated figure, one of my personal favourite purple figures. Sorry, I just got a notification. Oh, and my personal favourite pterosaur. And then we have the regular Dimorphodon. And now this is when we move on to something big. Uh, okay. So these shelves are split up into three different categories. We have the small shelf, which, which contains the semi-small figures. We have the medium shelf, which, which contains the medium figures. And then, we have the fig then, we have, we, then we have the bottom shelf, which contains all the large figures. And yes, I'm going through these one by one. I'm sorry if I go a bit fast. Ah. Whoa, something just fell. The, the end of just fell, of course. Ah, we have the b b battle damage black and black force raptor, the mustard triceratops, the gasosaurus, which you are never getting king kaiju. We have the legacy g g galamimus, the mini papo brachiosaurus, the safari limited mini diplodocus. Diplodocus? I don't know. This thing, the the Minmi, the Sauropelter. This thing, uh, oh, what's this thing called? It's a Tachosaurus. And then we have this thing, the Mini Ketosaurus, Mini Ankylosaurus, Nazultoceratops. It's cold. Ah, oh, what's this thing called? Ah, its name is. It, I've just lost its name at the moment. Protoceratops. We then have the mini green Spinosaurus, mini Consignathus, which fun fact, Carol has the same exact one. We then have the Papalosaurus, another mini Spinosaurus, another mini Spinosaurus. We have the Papo Gorgosaurus, another one, a a, 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 a cinema cup blue. The Dino Gorgon, a slight Velociraptor, Mini Carnotaurus, my first ever Mattel figure, the Lost World Velociraptor, the J the original Jurassic Park Velociraptor, blue. Charlie, Lifenax, Dilophosaurus, another Sledge Velociraptor, the Coriurus, and a special. Uh, and a special mini. and a special Sledge Velociraptor. Ugh. Our lives are in my hands, and I have butterfingers? No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to sort a shelf out later. And we then have the medium sized shelf. Start off the back, we have the Slidge Cantosaurus, Papo Staracosaurus, Slidge Parasaurolophus, Slidge Pentaceratops, Slidge Conotaurus, Collector, is this Collector or, or, or Safari? I think this is Collector, Conotaurus. Slight Allosaurus, which fun fact is pretty much the only actual Allosaurus I have. Because my two Mattel ones can't stand, and my 
purple one has horrible paintwork. We then have my most recent purchase, the slight Baryonyx, also known, also known as Deja Vu. We then have the mini collector feathered Tyra. No, yeah, I think it's collector T feathered T Rex. The coloured the spitting Dilophosaurus, one of my personal favourites. The rainbow Papo Velociraptor. Mini Gorgosaur, mini Giganotosaurus, Papodarphosaurus, Herabosaurus, a special Slychalosaurus, two Slychalosauruses, Juvenile Tyrannosaurus, which fun fact, this was really the first ever thing that I've bought at a store without my parents. I know, I'm sad. And we then have the Herabosaurus. The original Herrerasaurus. We have Stiggy, the Stiggy Morlock. We have the Draco Rex. Then have, we then have the Safari, Styracosaurus. I think this is Safari and Kylosaurus. I think this is, I think this is Collector, Pachyrhinosaurus. This thing. Then we have my favorite Triceratops, the Slight Triceratops. We then have this thing, which 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 was my first ever marine reptile, and for the longest was my only one. I think this is. It doesn't say what it is, but I think this is a collector, a Phalmosaurus or something like that. And we then have this large Dunkleosaurus. Then we move on to the big shelf, and I know there isn't a lot here. I don't have a lot of big models. I, I don't. I don't have many big big models. We have the Papo Aquacanthosaurus, the originals. I think this is the original. Slight Tyrannosaurus, the 2019 Slight Spinosaurus, the original Slight Giganotosaurus, one of my personal favorites grow, growing up. The Eel Fauna Giganotosaurus. The 2019, I believe this is, Pherosinosaurus. The Bullyland Pherosinosaurus. My personal favourite Pherosinosaurus to ever be made. I think this is. I think this. this is, once again, this is either Safari or Collector. The Deluxe Styracosaurus. We then have the Safari Limited Tyrannosaurus. Which, if you can't tell, really likes to fall over. To the point that I've completely given up on picking it back up because it falls over so so often. Oh, sorry, I just I need to take a breath. Okay, I'm going to tidy up the shelf off camera, and then we're going to move on to those shelves up there. By the way, if I haven't already said this, I apologize for going really fast, going through all these figures, because, to, because let, let's be honest here, you guys can't be bothered to sit around for an hour and watch me go through my figure collection. So yes, I'm going kind of fast, and that's all I have to say. I, I apologize. I apologize if I'm going too fast. Okay, now moving on to my shelves above my bed, we have the Thrush and Throw T-Rex, the Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus, the Ankylosaurus, the Dino Rivals Amargosaurus, the Pachyrhinosaurus, the Barra Big Rock Nazotoceratops, the original Primal Attack Sarcosuchus, the Fallen Kingdom, Baryonyx, one of my personal favourites. The Battle Damage, Albertosaurus. The, once again, Primal Attack, Sciatus Meganorum. Uh, I probably said that wrong. We then have the... <sighs> Dueling Dinos, something like that. Stegosaurus. The Legacy Spinosaurus. And then, the Mosasaurus. Oh, I, I love this guy so much. 
Now hold on. To get to this shelf, I have to stand on my bed. And hopefully I won't fall backwards and break my head open. Okay. So this is basically my special shelf. This is where I put very special figures that are either very close to my heart or I've had for a long time or that are just quite hard to find. So, we have the original Papo Tyrannosaurus. Love this guy. My own, my, I'm pretty sure this is my only Carnegie figure. The Carnegie Feathered Velociraptor. The mini Spinosaurus, well, with well, a baby Spinosaurus. He's only up here because he is, and I didn't want to keep these two apart. And we then have the Deluxe Safari Limited or Collector Feathered Tyrannosaurus 2015. I love this guy. This guy is probably my favorite Tyrannosaurus along with this guy, and maybe the Safari one if he could actually stand. I love this guy, he's so hard, and the thing is he's so hard to find. I don't know why Collector stopped making him. I see, I've seen quite a few people who actually want him, but they didn't get the chance to get him. Why did they cancel it to make the inferior roaring version? We then have the slight rubberized Velociraptor, and if, yeah, if I believe it's the same one, you, you guys might not be able to see it, but its leg is glued on, because due to warping, over time, its leg came off and eventually lost the ability to stand. That, that, to be honest, that's one of the main, main reasons why I got the shelves. To try and stop warping from happening. Even though, for some reason, this raptor ain't standing. He was standing perfectly fine yesterday. I'll keep him there for now. So we have the original <laughs> Papo Velociraptor. We have the Safari Limited Capostuchus. We have my personal favourite, the Safari Limited Giganotosaurus. And the Papo Spinosaurus. Now that's it, I believe. Well, for the shelves. Oh, just hold on. Ah. That's it for the shelves. How did I remember all of these things' names? I'm such a sore loser. Anyways, you guys can leave the video now because I'm just going to go through what's inside this box down here. Because this box is basically just filled with other dinosaurs which I which either A, I didn't want to didn't want to display or B figures which can't stand or C figures which I prefer to less than the other figures. Okay. So, as you so so as you might be able to see, the lid is over here, and from, from there we just have a bunch of minis and the humans. Ah. But you guys probably aren't bothered about that. So, there's a box down here, which you can't see, and I'm going to go through them one by one. I hate myself. <laughs> okay, so first, we have the Mattel Stratosaurus. My only problem is that it can't stand. Can it stand? I think it can stand on shelves, but I preferred more. But as but, but since it's in here, I chose other figures over this. <sighs> the original Mattel Allosaurus. For a while, this was one of my favorite figures. In fa fun fact, it was on the shelf. Until I put the Mosasaurus up there. Because as soon as I put the Mosasaurus up there, it wouldn't stand. And I just... It, no matter, no matter w w what I would do, it wouldn't stand. So, so I just said, screw you, I'm going to put you in there and bring out more dinosaurs. In which I brought out the Stegosaurus and the Ankylosaurus instead. Good trade-off. We then have the this this slight Spinosaurus. Yes, I, as you can tell, this one's an oldie. How old is this guy? Oh seven. Thirteen years old. 
<sighs> Event half V Mattel Pteranodon. The only reason I don't have the Pteranodons out, well, 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 most flying reptiles, is because I don't know what to do with them. I, I just don't want to place them there, because they look like they're meant to be flying. But sadly, I don't have anything that makes them look like that they're flying. Ugh. Along with that, we have the Parasaur Lophus, which in fact is a really good figure. It's just that I preferred certain figures over this, and 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 I'm try and I'm thinking I'm thinking I might f might try to f f figure out a way to put this thing in on the shelves. We then have the original Triceratops, which once again is one of my personal favorites. Well, not one of my personal favorites. It's not one of my personal favorites. It's just a really good figure. Just I preferred certain other figures over this, so. Yeah, you were uh, tossed in there because I like the Nasodoceratops more than you. We then have the inaccurate Delta, uh, and 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 that's reason why I took that's reason why I didn't display it because it's inaccurate, and that's the main reason why I won't be getting the new Echo because once again that's inaccurate as well. To the Raptor Squad in the movie, and 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 I have two of the members of the Raptor Squad, which is Charlie and Blue, and if I wanted to get all of them on there, which I do, I would want to get semi-accurate ones, which is why I'm not getting the new Echo. We then have this feathered well. It was originally meant to be the JP3 Velociraptor, but ah, uh, don't mind it. Uh, I just tossed it in there because I liked certain because I liked other raptors more than it. Ugh. Then have the pro the original Protoceratops. It's a decent figure, but I but but I prefer the I prefer the Dino Rivals one. Ugh. We have the w one of three Gallimimuses. These guys aren't on the shelves because I, because I chose to show off the legacy one instead. We then have the Tapijara, which fun fact, Tapijara is probably my favorite flying reptile, along with the Dimorphodon. Just, just sadly, I ha just sadly I can't display it because. It's a flying reptile. It's meant to be flying, and I don't have any, cause, and I don't have real, I don't have any real way of showing that it's flying. Originally, I was going to originally, originally I was going to use glue tack to put onto the bottom of this and try and glue it onto the side of the shelves, and as you can tell, it w it didn't work. We then have this old Brachiosaurus, which sadly is my only one. However. I do really like the Papa one, and I hope to get that one day. Ugh. You then have this, this poorly aged Tyrannosaurus. This used to be my favorite as a child, but, but, but the main reason why it isn't on the shelves is because it doesn't look that good, and it barely stands. And just look at these proportions. Ah, just look at how we've improved. Ugh. We then have the Juvenile T-Rex, which once again, isn't that bad of a figure, just I chose certain other figures over it. We then have the original, not the original, this, bl this, this, gr this, how would I describe this? This turquoise and grayish black br brown Dilophosaurus, which I really like. I, I, f I don't think I displayed the sky because of space. I think that's the main reason why. We then have the disappointment, which is the Papo Allosaurus. Just look at the paint on this guy. He looks horrendous. 
it looks like some kind of knockoff. Like, I don't know why, it's just that I remember Papo, when making their older figures, instead of making them look good, like, the, like, how, like how they were originally, instead they make them look like knockoffs. For years I wanted Papo Allosaurus. And as soon as I finally got one, I got one I got one with a horrible I got one with a horrible paint job. But but we but instead now we have the just hold on somebody just messaged me. But now we have the new repaint, which I don't mind and I might get someday. I, re I really need to hurry up. <sighs> We then have the concavenator once again. Decent figure. It's not. It's not. It's not on the shelves because I chose other figures over it. We then have this this special edition of Red Rex. I love this. But once again, I why is why aren't I displaying this guy? I think it's mainly. I don't think he can stand because his feet all go. As, as, as you might be able to tell, his feet all warped, which, yeah, as you can tell, that, that'll pretty much stop him from standing. And we then have this yellow purple sp slight Spinosaurus. And our final figure, this really old, is this Slyche? Yeah, Slyche. A Patosaurus. Now, that's it. Second, just before I end this, I was literally just about to render it. And th then I realized, oh, I missed some. So, just to make this video even longer, let's go through this. We have the Suchomimus, my personal least favorite dinosaur. It can't stand for shit. It looks like shit. It feels like shit. I hate it. Ah. Triceratops. The, the way the way it's positioned, the head is just stuck facing the floor. I don't like it. I'm fine with the colours, but just look at that eye. Eey. Don't like it. Mattel's made too many. Then we have this orange Velociraptor. I don't know why he's in here, he's not that bad. I don't know. Ah. Then I have blue. I put this, I put this guy away because I preferred the other one which I have displayed. Then we have what is probably the most disappointing figure. The Barrower Big Rock Allosaurus. If you guys remember, at first I puff I loved this thing. I rated it as one of my favorite figures in the Mattel line, but mine finally gave in. As I'm saying this now, it stands, but normally it can't stand for shit. Yeah, as, as you can see, it's slowly going down. <sighs> what a disappointment. We then have a bunch of mini dinosaurs from Hasbro. And over here, we have more minis from Hasbro. I plan to make a comparison video in the future once, once quarantine is over. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it now. I just needed to I just needed to go, go over it in my head just to make sure. So now, thank you all so much for watching, and here, isn't Tom Sexy 01, ruin the victory! Ah!